hey guys welcome to my channel you know i'm smiling right you know i'm smiling it's the issue with this mask so i'm actually smiling at you guys welcome to my channel and if you happen to bump into my channel for the first time what are you waiting for just click on the notification button and subscription button so we'll be together guys i am out of the country finally after two years of not going anywhere i'm going somewhere special different places and i'm gonna do the cheapest and most affordable trip ever you can imagine so i'm going to brussels first of all uh, past vienna and then i'll find myself in paris in a couple of days before i get back to the real life so i have a week of rooming the cities around and of course you'll be with me so right now i'm in athens uh, airport waiting for the flight uh which is gonna be at six o'clock and it's already i don't know what the time is it's 15 to 5 so it's pretty early and i'm just gonna go to my gate and check in and be ready uh, to enjoy the flight after such a long time guys i'm smiling i promise i'm smiling behind this this mask i'm really really smiling with all my people you know and it's kind of difficult but you have to follow the rules so yeah i'm here waiting i just said i want to shoot this video for you guys before i get into the crowd because the crowd is going to be not going to be possible for me to shoot the video so yep see you in all the different cities that i'm going to be in and you're going to enjoy it with me and of course i will share with you the cheapest way you can travel to those cities okay guys be with me so this is how i'm dressed up this is how i am dressed up guys <laughs> hope that i will be in brussels in style Oh, this is how I am dressed, guys. Just getting in, guys. I've already done my test, so I'm gonna go to my seat. the flight's gonna be okay it's not gonna be hectic it's gonna be a smooth one and uh, see you someone in Vienna in a bit a couple of <laughs> in a few hours uh, we'll see you in Vienna okay from this 
then I'll be in Brussels in a bit. But I need to check. It is F26. And uh, yeah. So just walking towards the gate so I can find it. I think I have 25 minutes to be there. And I need to take this kimono off as well so I can wear a sweater. It's a bit chilly, but not that cold. So basically the flight is leaving at 7.40 and uh, I'm still looking for the gate and it's 7.25 already. So I'm still in number 14 you can see and I have to look for number 20 26 so hopefully we'll be there on time I don't need to take out my mask I need to replace it as well oh I finally found the gate is here and my flat is the one so I have to Here. I just need to verify with them before I get actually excited. So guys, that was close. I just went in and they just told me I need to get in so quickly. So I had to run to the plane really, really fast. And I guess people are already boarding and I need to rush. Oh, that was a quick one. Oh my God. Oh yeah, um, shut a breath with a mask, which I need to change by the way. window the fast flight I had the window on the other side so I didn't have enough lights but this is really really nice and guys I'm really really pressed so I need to help myself but it's kind of empty again and yeah, I'm just gonna see my friend in a few, let's say, in a short while. So I haven't seen her for since 2018. Yeah, I haven't seen her since 2018. So that's a long, long time. But you know, friends is all. Friendship is always. Um, with how do I say you you can if your friend uh, you never see each other but it feels like when you talk you feel like you've been with with together for like forever you were together a couple of hours ago or some minutes or yesterday or something always that's the best friendship so I'm gonna see my crazy friend I have crazy friends um, 
yeah, and I think I will have a sleep now. I haven't slept properly since yesterday. I always love the takeoff, like the sound of the engine just is something else I go crazy about. I love it. I love the sound of the engine. Oh, it's like a big engine. I don't know if you can see it actually. A big propeller. It's like really, really huge. But uh, yeah, I love the sound of the engine when it takes off. And uh, it's pretty much empty not so many people which I really think it's good because they're taking uh, precautions against um, the COVID situation so and even if, uh, if at the back people are spaced out so there's no sitting next to each other even if it's your partner for for that reason so yeah we're gonna be heading to Brussels And ladies and gentlemen, I'm in Brussels finally. And yes, I'm here. Just got living out. Going for my luggage, and I have no idea, but I follow the street anyway. I'll say this place is huge as well, like. Jesus, this is like a long walk to get my bag came from over there like that until here I'm still going to get the bag this is it so huge I didn't know that this is a huge airport like this oh they're checking the papers they're actually checking the uh, vaccine or they're checking the virus test 
and uh, the so they're actually taking the vaccination documents or the COVID test before you pass that stage and then we're still walking looking for our baggage mind you <laughs> it's like miles away we're still looking for the bags but the good thing is I'm here already and I'm so happy oh have to be careful I'm so glad that I'm here and finally this is the place to get the bags apparently yep still waiting to collect my bag I'm a little bit in a panic right now because I'm not sure what's going on maybe my bag was one of the in the bottom but uh, seems like you know it's nearly done because I hope they're not closing and I haven't found my bag guys you won't believe what happened to me so <laughs> I wasn't like my flight was having like the shortest transit time ever like it was less than 10 minutes for me to move to another another uh, how you call it to another another flight and guess what they didn't pack my bag they didn't pack my suitcase and everything is in my suitcase I was uh, furious and now I have to wait until tomorrow hopefully my bag will come not guaranteed but I'm in the train station right here I'm going to my destination finally I hope that um, they told me that they, there is a flight at 7 so hopefully that flight will have my bags and uh, it's so sad because I don't have nothing I, I don't have nothing and uh, apparently they're telling me I can shop and then call the airline and tell them about that which I don't find that being uh, it is not convenient at all because you might shop and then the airline tells you no we won't be able to refund you so it's gonna be a hard <laughs> it's like a hard vacation for me started with a not a happy one but we will see hopefully it will not be this bad at the end of the day I am here waiting for a train to Antwerp and my friend will pick me up from there and we have to come to the airport tomorrow now I'm gonna waste tomorrow's day looking for my bag can you imagine that and I was running like a pig so I would have lost the flight as well oh but anyway I can't say much I can't do much because my bag is having fun in Vienna that's how it is what time is the train so I managed to charge my phone and I'm just drinking something uh, at the Starbucks. Um, I'm so sad and the stress is all in my tummy. I arrived and my bag apparently was still in Vienna and I still need to go to Paris. I'm so stressed how I will be in Paris without clothes, without any anything. Like, I just have this with me and these are like the gifts I bought. Like nothing um, I'm just disappointed with the airline and I traveled the business and it's like I contacted them uh, the sad thing is the help center the help desk at the uh, at the airport has nothing to do with the airline and they don't even care which class you were in or you paid more you paid less uh, but I am like it, it, it's in my stomach like my stomach is so paining me right now because I'm stressed I'm stressed that I don't have my hands my cream um, 
I don't have it nothing. I'm just the way you see me. Like this t-shirt and the pants that I came with. I hope that my friend will have some clothes that fit me so I will wear something while I'm still waiting for the airline to send me the bag. The funniest thing is that they were telling me to give him an address in France so they will send my bag in, in France. I'm like, it doesn't make sense. I was here, my bag was supposed to be in the same bag, I mean, plane, it didn't. So I'm just afraid that my bag might get lost completely and I might not receive any compensation because it's a poor handling of, of like I don't know what they were rushing I don't know why they were rushing because they should have understood that some people came from another place and they had to wait and transfer their bags but they didn't so um, I've been told that there is a there is another flight that is gonna be here at around seven I'm waiting to see if it will come with my bag. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because I don't know how I'll carry out myself. And I was, I was, I wanted to go to France and go to um, Amsterdam as well, you know. But it, I feel like my vacation is gonna be ruined. It didn't start well. And, uh, I'm very disappointed. It's the first time I'm losing a bag. First time in my entire traveling history I'm losing a bag. Like, it never happened. Uh, well, I'll wait and see what the airline will say about that and if they're going to be able to do anything at all. So, still waiting for my friend though. Okay guys, so she's finally here, the person who's been keeping me waiting, and uh, yeah, say hi to my friends, say hi to my fans, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be the one, I'm, she's, she's the one who's gonna give me clothes, I told you guys that I'm gonna wear her clothes, yeah. hopefully until I get my clothes um, back. back, I don't know when, hopefully. but so yeah. So we are going to start with your pants, are we? I, thank God I'm not on my periods. Thank God, you know. It's a woman thing, you know. Like yeah. the first thing you think about is that I don't have my pants, I don't so have no. pads, I don't have cream or whatever. And what can we do? Nothing. I have to wait. Yeah, so we just have to calm down. Yeah. So meet my friend. <laughs> and when you come to yeah. Antwerp, you do you see have, her. Yeah, you have to say hi to me. Exactly. Yeah. Love you guys. 24 hours later. <laughs>